Hi there, a very warm welcome to Hack Announce and guys in this video tutorial we will see how to push the data in our Django models using Django admin and guys this Django admin is quite powerful and guys previously we have seen how to create a app and how to create a model for that app and how to push the data using python shell and now we will see how to do that with the help of Django admin and it's a UI based I think it's a quite powerful and it's useful so now let's see so what you need to do is first of all you have to type a command uh, python manage.py and here you have to type create super user this will create a super user for uh, your app and here type super user and guys be sure so here you have to type username so you can leave it root as it's showing and after that here you have to type uh, email address so you have to type hack underscore announce at the right yahoo and guys this is the email address you can contact me for any query here i'm type my password sorry um it should be of eight characters so i'm typing it again so now my password has been successfully done so guys now what you need to do is just need to uh, go to the url and the url is uh, here you have to type admin and so now you can see uh, again we are not able to run this so why, why we are not able to run this first of all we have not run our server you can see there is no server running and other thing what we need to do is before running the server we need to add these courses app in our admin.py so we need to do it so this, uh, we will do that wait uh, i have to open that folder so guys here we need to add it our admin.py so we will open it with gu guided so guys here we are able to open our admin.py using guided so guys here first of all what we need to need to do is first of all we need to import our models.py so for more importing you need to type from dot models and guys here we are typing more dot models because the models dot pi is in the same directory you can see uh, here models dot pi is there and this dot pi is there if they are in the same directory then you can directly uh, put dot symbol and use it so here i have typed dot models and then here i will import my course model name course uh, c o u r s e yeah so now uh, we are able to import it now what introduce you need to register our uh, your site so you need to register it admin dot r a g i s register and then admin dot site dot register sorry admin dot site dot register here you need to type the name of your model uh, c o u r s e so that's it now we have imported our model in admin dot pine and we will be able to add it with the help of django ad django admin so we will do it uh, go back and I have open my terminal and run this python and manage.py and I think it will work definitely yeah so now you can see in the one time it, it, it will we are able to run it so now we will open our browser and access it so as well type it again so now you can see I am able to run my admin and here is the it's the username is the password that you have previously typed so now login so guys now you can as a login now you can see here we are having courses one model here courses so now as i click it here now you can see there are the courses object that we have previously typed so now you can see here we are having a title and the description that we have previously typed and guys here you can add other courses directly with the ui base at the any title like here we have typed ruby sorry and the learn learning basics uh, basic stuff and here we are able to uh, save uh, continue editing and add, add another so i think it's a quite powerful now you can see we can see others we can directly delete them uh, i think it's a better than python shell python shell is quite powerful i know but it's a better for daily use so that's it guys we have seen how to push the data using django admin i think it's a quite powerful and easy so guys up to this we have seen how to push the data in models using django admin and guys in the next tutorial we will see how to retrieve this data in a url so that we will able to re retrieve it and uh, for that we have to edit views.py so we will see it later so bye bye thanks for watching and stay tuned bye bye